Welcome back to the Popcorn FX channel for a new tutorial. In this tutorial, we are going to cover how to install the Popcorn FX plugin into your UE5 project. If you are using Windows, make sure that you install Visual Studio to compile the plugin as we do not provide compiled Popcorn FX plugin binaries yet. On the Popcorn FX website, go to the Unreal Engine plugin page and download the plugin matching your Popcorn FX project version. Alternatively, you can grab the plugin from the GitHub repository, which link will be down below in the description. Make sure that you have a C++ Unreal project, as Blueprint-only projects are not supported. To convert a Blueprint-only project to a C++ project, you can follow this tutorial. This tutorial is for Unreal Engine 4, but to create new C++ class in Unreal Engine 5, you need to go to the tools slash new C++ class. Other instructions are the same. Go to your Unreal Engine project folder. If you do not have one already, create a plugins folder. You can copy paste or move the extracted Popcorn FX folder in your project's plugins folder. The next steps are only required when building manually from the GitHub repository. If you are not, jump to the next section. First of all, make sure that you downloaded and installed 7-zip and added it to your path environment variable. This is a requirement we want to remove in future updates. Now go to the Popcorn FX folder. Launch download SDK all.bat to download Popcorn FX runtime SDK. Download SDK desktop.bat and download SDK mobile.bat can be used separately if you only need desktop or mobile platforms. To check that the previous step was successful and SDK is installed, make sure that the folder Popcorn FX Runtime SDK is not empty. In the UE Project folder, in the File Explorer, right-click the projects.uproject file and select Show More Options and then Generate Visual Studio Project Files. Now double-click the uProject file or open it via Unreal Engine and you'll be prompted to build missing modules. Press Yes. Building the plugin can take several minutes. The UI editor should open. You can check that the plugin has been correctly installed as there will be a Popcorn FX menu available. Notice that the plugin is now enabled only for the project. It's also possible to install the plugin in the UI installation folder directly. Now you can import effects into the engine. Popcorn FX effects can be imported like any resource supported by UI. To import an effect, follow the same method as you would with texture or mesh sets. For example, simply drag and drop the source pkfx file into a project's content browser. After the first import of the popcorn fx effect, you will receive a prompt window that the popcorn fx source project was set. Press OK. You should now see the effect imported with its thumbnail displayed. Drag and dropping the effect in a level will create an instance, also called emitter, of that effect. You also notice it will create a popcorn FX scene actor if none was present in the level. That option can be disabled in the plugin editor settings. You go to popcorn FX, editor setting, editor, auto insert scene actor. The scene actor is the object responsible for updating and rendering all emitters. Effect dependencies can be visualized in the Effect Preview window. Simply double-click on the effect to open it. You'll see the effect attributes, resource dependencies, and materials listed. This is where you can override materials for an effect. The Popcorn FX Source project can be changed in the plugin settings. 
Go to Popcorn FX, Editor Settings, Source Popcorn FX Project Path. This project is now automatically monitored by UE's Hot Reload system, which means that all add, remove, or modify actions on a Source Popcorn FX effect will be mirrored in UE. To disable this option, you need to go to Edit, Editor Preferences, then go to General, Loading and Saving, and find Auto Reimport tab. The Monitor Content Directions should be checked. Open the Advanced tab. Uncheck the Auto Create Assets, Auto Delete Assets, and Detect Changes on Startup. Congratulations! You can check the documentation for more in depth information about the plugin here. You can also find a Content Examples project showcasing some of the capabilities of the plugin. To download it, go to this link, press Releases and download the project zip. Extract the zip file on your computer. You can also clone the repository to build from source. If you already installed the Popcorn FX plugin and the plugin is installed in the UE installation folder, you don't need to do anything and can skip to the next two steps. If you manually clone the repo, You'll need to update the Popcorn FX submodule. Now you need to run the download SDK desktop.bat. It is located at Unreal Engine Popcorn FX Examples, Plugins, Popcorn FX, and will download Popcorn FX Runtime SDK. You are set to launch the project. There are two ways. The first one is to right-click Popcorn FX Examples .u project and select Generate Project Files or Switch on Real Engine version. This will generate the project files, which you can then open and compile manually. The second way is to simply double-click on Popcorn FX Examples .u project. Unreal Engine will prompt you to build the missing modules for Popcorn FX. After following instructions, UE Editor will open. Now you have the project open. You can see how the files are incorporated into Unreal. Take time to press play and walk around. There's a lot of information and examples. When you press tab in the play mode, you will be transported to the next scene. Enjoy!